All right, let's discuss my favorite features in Studio One 6.2. Here we go. So there's this thing up here called auto zoom full. There's three different options here. You got the auto zoom horizontal, auto zoom vertical, or vertically, and then you got the auto zoom full. Now, when I was doing the live stream, I didn't know what to think of this. I just thought, okay, yeah, eh, it's nice. It's a little feature you click, I guess, if you're like zoom completely out of something or zoomed in, should I say, and then you hit this button up here, boom, it gets you back. Or if you right click, it gets you back or the auto zoom deal, right? Zoom in and out or whatever, and hit that button, boom. So it'll just take you all the way completely out to a full screen of anything you're doing, right? It's a nice little option, right? Cool. But I discovered this <laughs> while I was making a beat, you know, MIDI form. And this was the part that got unique because Studio One has never done this before. But in 6.2, it's possible. Here at the bottom, the MIDI, right? I'm going to switch to piano roll and guess what happens here so i'm gonna go to the top and we're gonna all right here we go Right, so, so as you guys can see, the piano roll is scrolling. It's kind of doing like what Ableton is doing. I was trying to refrain from saying it, but yeah, that's kind of like when things are moving, auto putting things in perspective, right? So what I figured out was both of them can't work together, at least not according to what I was able to find. So. The same thing happens in the arrange window. I'm going to delete that and I'm going to do that again. But the piano area doesn't move, so to speak. So I'm going to zoom in or whatever and do that. I just think it's kind of cool. I like it. Activate that here at the top. All right, and let's let's go for Okay, I guess so. I guess it is moving. I, I still haven't figured out. I, I, I didn't nail how to get it to move at all times and or like both sections move together. There was one point where the piano roll was going on its own and then, yeah, whatever. It's cool. It's an auto function deal. But I do notice that like when you click any of these, it's like one or the other as you can see like the piano roll here i click here and then i click up here it i don't know it's like one or the other you know when you click up here I don't, I don't. and so far that was it there is a lot that was added to studio one there's a lot of things that was fixed there are new commands and some really cool things but that is probably the only favorite out of the bunch that i like the most that deals with workflow it's like a nice little touch because that is one of the things that i like about ableton how the automation and how things just kind of compress as you add the notes and i thought that was always unique and it was really cool to be able to do that type of stuff and now studio one can do that but of course i'm going to play a little bit more in here and if i find something that's really cool 
I will definitely make a video about it and probably be streaming and showing y'all things like that. So that's why you should be subscribed to the channel because you never know what happens next. I'm Ella, Beat Culture. Remember, lifestyle is governed by art.